Carnival Cruise Line coming in hot this weekend with cruise news. We've got breaking cruise news from the Carnival Cruise Line executives from late last night. And let me just say this. If you don't like this, you're going to be pretty happy. Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for joining into the show today. If you are new to the channel, my name is Jordan, and this is JJ Cruise. It's a little bit earlier than I uh, would normally be doing cruise news, or really, I would normally be awake. But this news dropped at midnight last night. I woke up to this news, and I had to run to the camera and share it with you all because it is so important. But before we get into that news, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, we are on this journey to 20k and we would love for you to come along with us. We are JJ Cruise. We are a YouTube channel all about the love and passion and obsession that is cruising. And as we venture around the world on cruise ships, we invite you to come along with us. Thank you in advance for hitting that like button. It tells YouTube that you like what you're seeing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That is how you will never miss videos like these, whether it be cruise news updates, ship tours, fun vlogs, or the many other types of videos that we put out. Okay, let's jump into this cruise news. And yes, it does have to do with masks on Carnival. Before I hop into that, I just wanna share a little bit of background about what Carnival has done in terms of health and safety and where it's led us up to at this point now. Carnival was one of the very first cruise lines to say that they were going to hit a 95% vaccinated rate on their cruise line. They were also one of the first cruise lines to ban smoking indoors. In their casino, they took smoking away first, made a lot of people happy and a lot of people unhappy. It's pretty polarizing. But Carnival has been one of the last cruise lines to implement a very strict face mask policy. And I say that because initially, when Carnival told everybody to put face masks on, there was a lot of reports coming from ship to ship that they weren't doing a lot to really enforce the wearing of face masks, um, even though that protocol was in place. As time went on, Carnival did tighten up and they got stricter as things like Omicron came down the line and we saw COVID numbers start to spike in uh, late December, early January. Well, now here we are inching towards March and inching towards spring and Carnival has officially done away with their mask mandate as of March 1st. First. So starting March 1st, masks will become optional aboard all Carnival cruise ships. Now Carnival did release a statement saying that up to their discretion, essentially, they could still require that face masks be worn in certain venues. So I'm assuming if there's venues where social distancing is not possible, Carnival has the right to at any point slip up like, you know, a, a sign outdoor the venue that will say, you have to have a mask to come indoors. Um, so while this I know is going to be exciting to a lot of people, I do ask that you just keep an open mind as Carnival's going through these protocols and know that they're doing the best to keep you and everyone in your party safe. Now I've already seen some chatter online this morning and I've seen some questions come in. One question that I did see was um, people asking if they have a cruise, let's say on February 27th, and it's gonna be over that March 1st, what happens to them? Do they get to take their mask off for the entire voyage? Well, we'll have to see what Carnival does. Royal Caribbean did let people take their masks off mid-voyage when their mask mandate went away on February 18th. So if you were on a ship and that February 18th date came up, they were like, hey everybody, rip that mask off and enjoy the rest of your cruise mask free. Now, of course, this is for those who are vaccinated. The unvaccinated, they do still want you to wear a mask. And I think that it is very important to keep in mind that there is still a mask mandate at the port. Um, so if you are cruising Carnival after March 1st, please know, and I do ask that you just be respectful to the port staff. So if you're going out of, let's say, Port Everglades or Port of Miami or any port that um, is a federal entity, there is still a mask mandate there and you do still have to wear your mask inside those confines. So do not show up to your cruise without a mask because I'm sure you will be given one of those paper masks to wear 
if you do show up and plan on not wearing a mask. Now I know that masks have been this super controversial topic over the last few months. Obviously there was a point in time where we didn't have to wear masks on cruise ships. That was like early June, early July, and then the mask mandates started to roll out in August and into the fall as the Delta variant really took off. I want to hear from you because I know this is so polarizing. What do you think about the whole mask situation on the ships? Does this freak you out a little bit to know that there's going to be a lot of people congregating on the ships without masks? Does it make you happy? Are you like, you know what? I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting to be able to take my mask off on a ship again. I will say that with the vaccine requirement in place, it does make me feel a lot more comfortable that I can get on a ship, potentially take my mask off and be okay. Now, of course, Jared and I are both known to putting our masks on even when we don't have to. Um, during the height of the Delta variant, we sailed 12 nights on Celebrity Equinox. There was no mask mandate on that cruise, but we wore our masks anyways. We did the same thing halfway through our Mardi Gras cruise, just because there were certain times that we could not socially distance, and we were just trying to keep ourselves and others safe. That being said, you know, to each their own, as long as everyone is respecting the guidelines and the mandates in places on the ships, I support you. I think that that's important to say because what I don't want to see happen here is I don't want to see a bunch of viral videos coming off of cruise ships where once or if they have to make a change and let's say make a comedy club or a theater um, mask required, there is this like outbreak of anger <laughs> on board. Be respectful and keep in mind that the crew is doing everything that they can to keep you safe while on board at sea. Last but not least, masks are technically still recommended while on board, but they are not required. That's one other thing to keep in mind. Just as you go on board, there will be some people that will still want to wear masks will still want to keep their distance and will probably, you know, still be extra cautious because at the end of the day, the pandemic is not over. And like I just told you, Jared and I have been on cruises where there was no mask mandate and we put them on. Just be respectful of each other and understand that everyone is in a different place on this journey and in a different place on their cruise. And just because you feel like you don't have to wear a mask or don't want to wear a mask, doesn't mean that someone else may want to. Listen to the requirements, listen to the mandates, respect the crew, respect each other, and enjoy your cruise. This is just another big step forward in terms of getting back to normal. I'm excited that Carnival has felt like things are safe enough to do this. Of course, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian have already done this. We're gonna have to see um, what other cruise lines such as Princess, Holland America, Virgin Voyages, Disney Cruise Line end up doing. Um, Disney's been the strictest in terms of their protocols, so I don't know if we're gonna see a mask mandate drop off from them soon. Um, but until now, Carnival is the next big dog to, to change their mask requirement from required to recommended. All right, thank you so much for watching today. Again, if you like the show, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, See ya.